microphone. And Jessica, I have you on the main screen. And I'm going to go ahead and mute microphone, and you can go ahead and start as soon as I give you a thumbs up. Okay, my name is Jessica Bevington, and I'm going to be talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart because it is something that I'm currently dealing with. And I want to give people a little bit of information about this topic because I feel like it's something that people see as very complex and they stay away from it. Um, and it is, it can be, but um, there are some simple, crucial steps that you can take in the beginning to get to the goal that I'm presenting, which is home ownership. Um, I'm currently a renter right now, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that, and I feel like I am throwing away money every month when I make that rent payment. And I started to think about the steps that I needed to take in order to own my first home, and decided to share that information with whoever I can, because I feel like it is something that people stray away from because it seems very complex and difficult. Um, my first topic that I wanted to talk about is the actual benefits of owning a home. Um, one is equity in yourself, and investing in your own future instead of paying off somebody else's loan on their home. Second, it is your home now. You can do what you want to it. Um, you can invest in your home even more and upgrade your home and do the things that you would like to do to your home and be happy where you are instead of feeling like I'm living in someone else's dream home. Um, people will kind of go back and forth on this. Um, there's a few steps to um, owning a home um, that people, some people will say you need to select an agent after you've already been pre-approved, but I would actually suggest finding a real estate agent first that you connect with and that you trust and that you um, maybe has worked with somebody that you know um, because I feel like the real estate agent can point you in the right direction when it comes to financing, and that's really what people are afraid of. It's not really the actual finding the home. That's the easy, fun part. Um, it's more of will I be able to get a loan to buy my first home, um, and that is a big question that you will need to have answered, but I believe that if you find a good agent, they'll be able to point you into the direction of a mortgage broker that they work with frequently, and they'll be able to answer those questions for you pretty quickly. Um, so pre-approval, um, finding an agent, using their mortgage broker, getting pre-approved, and then answering the questions when it comes down to having a down payment ready, um, having the credit you need in order to get approved for a loan that you need to buy the house. Um, something to think about also in that is to not get discouraged if right off the bat you do not get pre-approved for a mortgage. It's a good point to find out what you need to do. Um, it's never a done deal. You can always go back and fix the issues that lie with not being able to own a home at that moment. So I just 